Hello, and welcome back to the program. This is a box. Well, thank you. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Yes, please. I don't remember where I have a bandage. Why do I have a bandage? Yes, I do believe there is something behind that rushing water. So what happens if I get hit by the rock? Oh. Okay. That's what happens if I get hit by the rock. You learn something new every day. Don't ya? Oh, wait. <laughs> no. This is like Frogger all over again. Oh, a tutu. I look great. Take it. Got the old tutu. I'm gonna put on the old tutu. Equip the old tutu. Yes. <coughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay. Okay. We're all good. She's not gonna hurt us. Yo, did you see that way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on! Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, he fell down. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I remember these. Mama didn't raise no fool. Flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you. Very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Well, did I win, though? The answer is yes. Of course I won. I've always found myself to be a winner. A wiener. Uh, I feel like, uh... I'm cheating now because I already know, like, how to solve half of these things. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. So... Last time, he said that I would be smart enough to change out of a dusty tutu, wear something else. So let's see. 
The wishing room? Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Washua. Clean. Dang it, no, I didn't mean to do that. No! It was an accident! Clean me. Green means clean. Rinsing off a pizza? Yes. Check the wall. Well, I am aware of this wall. You mean this one? Yes! I found you out. Ah, oh, shoot, I should read this. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed like they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Still gonna get caught, aren't I? So that didn't help me at all, now did it? Looks like I played myself. Haha! -ha! Oh shoot! I shouldn't make jokes about playing myself. Nope! Son of a gun! Son of a gun! Son of a gun! No! no. How am I still alive? How did I make it out of this alive? Whew! That was stressful. Ha ha! You got me! You got the wrong man! You got the wrong man! Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Yo! Did you see that? Undyne just... touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky if you were just standing just a little bit to the left. Yo! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> I like this guy. She's been here so long. Magical crystal is going around it. Oh, shoot. No. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. I know what game you're playing, and I'm still playing it. It's normally, but it's I know you. I can, you can use it for free. How's about it? Woo! Yeah. Huh. Well, I don't really. Ah! Son of a gun. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. What's in the box? Apparently nothing. What's in the freaking box? Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. 
They're sure to get the customers to come back. Next cream. Now I'm just 25 gold. Yes. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Take it or leave it. <sighs> What's this guy? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Oh yeah, and then like, whenever I was talking about this, I was all like, I'm a star! Like, the last time I was recording. You remember that! Whenever I said I was a monster! Oh gosh. That's the thing, like, while I'm recording this, like, I look back at some of the things that I said at some of the moments. I'm like, man, I was dumb. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember whenever I asked about your clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worried not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I am not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, he smells like the moon. So because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a dusty tutu. Ahaha! <laughs> Even though you told me you were. Instead, I made something up. I told her you were wearing a bandana. Pain me to tell such a bold-faced lie. I know you would never, ever wear a bandana. But your safety is more important than fashion. Dang. I just want to be friends with everyone. Click. <laughs> well, that explains that. Huh. Mercy. Mercy. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. Ah, oh, dang it. What don't I need? Well, I don't need a stick. Most definitely. Drop the stick. Yeah, sure. You got the ballet shoes. Do they go with the tutu? Please tell me they go with the tutu. Okay. <laughs> you know, the most interesting part of this whole thing. Wow, the ballet shoes do more damage than the than the leather or than the tough glove. The more you know. I'm trying to know what paths I didn't go down. <laughs> well, at least I know I can handle myself in the fight now. By being a total wuss. Woohoo! Ain't that just the way. I'm sorry. I keep quoting, uh, Ain't that just the way from Over the Garden Wall because, well, honestly, that show's amazing. If you, um, uh, if you like a good cartoon with, like, good quality content and, like, interesting story and all this stuff, it's, it's worth a watch. That's my advertisement for a show that's, like, been out for a couple years now. So, you know, <laughs> in case you care about that. Because I just, I, I kind of watched it recently, actually, because I'd never really heard of it. I don't really watch cable television anymore. I mainly use, like, Hulu. And, uh... My goodness, was that show good. I, I binge-watched the whole miniseries. It was... Oh, it was so good. He flex. Aaron flexes very hard. Flexes himself out of the room. Ha-ha! Win. I win. I'm a winner. So I ate popcorn earlier. And now it's, like, stuck between my teeth. And that makes me sad. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. We get to have a special friend come back. And I think you know who it is. I'll give you a hint. It's... Onion Sand. Hey there! Onion Sand! Onion Sand! Yes, I hear. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. 
and the aquarium's full. Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall... Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Turn gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. <laughs> All right, no one has to die. Wait, what happens if I conduct though? Oh, that's what happens. Sweet. And no one had to die. My favorite kind of ending. Ah, oh. oh, dang it. Ah! Okay, hang on. Ah. I remember that from the last one. Dun 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 Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too much. It's okay, I don't need, uh... Mm, we gotta throw down the toy knife. The toy knife was thrown away. Let's go ahead and need a bicycle. I need a bicycle. <sighs> it's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes, please. You're carrying too many dogs. <laughs> I never understood this, but I still do think it's funny. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Let's drop it. Drop it like it's dog. Drop it like it's dog. <laughs> he absorbed the artifact. And just floats out of the room. See, it's kind of funny comparing, like, my reactions to stuff my first run through and now this run through. Where it's like, oh, what the heck just happened? Now I'm just like, this is normal. <laughs> This power had no counter. Indeed, a human cannot mi cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster, called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to, pers to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And now it never will. You know, even though I don't have to do this, I still do like this song, so I'm gonna give it to this guy. I love this song. I love that song a lot. Beautiful. Why does all the music in this game have to be so inspired and awesome? Like, mmm. Mmm. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Man, and Dine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. 
knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha! So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Yeah, let's put the umbrella back. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. Good. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and thus monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Now this is the fun part. <laughs> All right. Now this is the fun part, navigating the maze of uh platforms. It also have deadly spears coming out of them. So I suddenly realized the solution to this. Oh shoot. Go the way her platforms lead. Wait, no, never mind, that fell through. All right. Now she'll be waiting for me. Just like the good old days. Yep, just like that. See, that's that's the biggest thing that I've wondered about with this whole game. Like, why? Why did she have to do that? Like, she could have just killed me and taken my soul. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. James, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Piles of garbage. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my unicycle. <laughs> Doing this endless cycle of worse than Earth. How does that fill me with determination? I must be some like sick psycho. It's 
It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Why not? I just realized what the desperate claw marks are. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Will he still fight me? Yes! Good. This is one of my favorite moments in any... Er, my favorite songs from the entirety of this game. Haha! -ha! Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too. Until... You came along! When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said? Horrible! Shocking! Unbelievable! Spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Awesome. Ow! You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic. <sighs> Doesn't seem much for conversation, eh? No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. You can try, mate. Got him. I love this song so much. I'm not really adding much commentary, I'm just sort of listening to the song. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Well, you do that, buddy. I'm not holding you back from your dreams. No one is happy with this. Huh, yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Ha, ah, got him. My dummy's getting cotton all over the- Yeah, that sounds like a personal problem. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. All right. This is like by far one of the strangest fights of the whole game. And I love that. No, this would be uh, futile, futile, futile. <laughs> Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. <laughs> Dang. Got wrecked. Haha, <laughs> 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 I got him. I'm sorry, this episode is going to go over because I really wanted to do this fight. I'm sorry. Not sorry, though. Haha, I got him still. But at what cost? <laughs> like half my health. Final attack! Got him. 
No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! <laughs> I love this. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 <laughs> what the heck is this? It snaps the Bluke's tears. Bluke's tears. I can't speak. Erg. Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Well, looky who's here. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Ah, uh, naps the bloke. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Ugh, oh, gosh. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Alright, everyone. That is the end of today's episode. Be sure to come back next week, if everything works out. Uh, on Monday, you will see part six. And I think I'm actually in sync in parts of Undertale right now. Like, uh, because this is... Part, this is where I ended part 5 last time for under for my last playthrough. And that's kind of funny. You know, just in case you were interested in a little fact like that. Alright, everyone. Be sure to come back next time. Bye!